Over the millennia, animals have gone extinct on Earth for many different reasons. Sometimes it's because of a dramatic shift in the climate. Other times it was because of human intervention. Advances in science, specifically biotechnology, could enable scientists to bring some of these animals back from extinction. So in this video, we are going to discuss extinct animals that scientists are going to revive. But before starting the video, be sure to smash the like button and subscribe to never miss out on any of our videos. Number 10. Pyrenean Ibex The Pyrenean Ibex is possibly the only extinct animal that has successfully been brought back to life, though it only lasted for a few minutes. The last of the animals died out in 2000, but three years later, scientists used its frozen cells to clone a calf. While the clone survived birth, it died a few minutes later due to lung defects, giving the subspecies of Ibex the distinction of having gone extinct twice. Novak, for the record, says that this popular statement isn't quite true because a single female doesn't constitute a species. It technically was never revived, he says. Number 9. Holy Mammoth One trouble with reviving extinct creatures is that scientists must first obtain a complete genome. But most of the genetic material that organisms carry is so-called junk DNA that may not be completely necessary for the functioning or uniqueness of a species. The trick is finding which DNA matters. While the Asian elephant is the closest living relative of the woolly mammoth, the current plan of the company Colossal involves using an artificial uterus to give birth to a calf rather than using a surrogate elephant mother. The use of a surrogate, it says, would be extremely complicated due to the two-year term of elephant pregnancy. Novak adds that gene editing technology isn't yet ready to make the revival of mammoths and other extinct species realistic. CRISPR can only edit a few dozen mutations per generation, while the mammoth has about one million genes that differ from Asian elephants. Number 8. California Condor The largest land bird in North America went extinct in the wild in the 1980s, when zoos took the remaining birds into captivity. Before this, biologists had to learn how to raise these giant birds in captivity without potentially harming the few that were left. Captive breeding programs for the California condors ensued, including at places like the Condor Sanctuary in Big Sur, California, operated by the Ventana Wildlife Society. The society releases birds every year, according to one survey. There were an estimated 334 in the wild in 2021. But challenges remain due to lead poisoning from ammunition Recently, the Dolan Blaze destroyed condor release facilities and killed several wild birds and chicks that could not escape the flames. Number 7. Caspian Tigers During their prime, Caspian Tigers could be found in Turkey and through much of Central Asia, including Iran and Iraq, and in northwestern China as well, but they went extinct in the 1960s. Kazakhstan's Caspian tiger was declared extinct 70 years ago after falling victim to habitat loss, systematic hunting by military troops, and reduction of prey, mainly boar and bakar deer. But today, with the leadership of the government of Kazakhstan and the promise of the ecologically significant region of Ili Balkash, long-term tiger recovery is within our grasp. If successful, it could mark the first international tiger reintroduction in history and will be an invaluable opportunity to secure the future of this big cat. Some scientists want to bring them back by reintroducing the nearly identical Siberian tiger to its old habitats where they expect it to adapt. Number 6. Woolly Rhinoceros The woolly rhinoceros was common throughout Europe and Asia. It had stocky legs and a thick woolly coat that made it well suited for the cold tundra environment during the Ice Age. Human hunting is often blamed for their extinction, so scientists want to reintroduce them to make up for it. The woolly mammoth wasn't the only massive hairy creature on the chilly Pleistocene tundra. The woolly rhinoceros is for repopulation, which obviously needs to be a major consideration when undertaking such a project. Number 5. Saber-toothed cats Looking at epic canine teeth of these once fearsome cats of Pleistocene lore, you may wonder whether resurrecting saber-toothed cats is a good idea. Fossil specimens have survived into modern times thanks to the frigid habitats they once roamed. Ancient tar deposits, like those at the La Brea tar pits, preserved intact specimens, though whether there's enough ancient DNA to create a database is doubtful. This one fires up the imagination and enthusiasm in the science fiction scenario, 
but that they experimented on captive raising of Andean condors, close cousins of the California species, until developing a system of raising chicks and releasing them in the wild, of finding an unrelated surrogate able to carry the embryo, raising it, and providing suitable habitat mean this one is a long shot. IUCN guidelines certainly seem to recommend against it. Number four. These giant flightless birds, similar in appearance to ostriches and emus, but without vestigial wings, were once the world's largest birds. Because moas were hunted to extinction as recently as 600 years ago in their native New Zealand, their feathers and eggs can still be found relatively intact. Scientists have reportedly extracted moa DNA from ancient eggshells and mapped the genome. 10 scientists aren't as enthusiastic as some politicians about the odds of a successful MOA clone and reintroduction of the species. Number 3. Ground Sloth Looking at fossil remains or model of this ancient creature, and you might believe you're looking at a giant bear. These enormous animals were ground sloths, most closely related to the slumbering modern-day three-toed sloth. They make the de-extinction because giant ground sloths still walked the earth 8,000 years ago at the dawn of human civilization. DNA samples have already been extracted from intact hair remains. Because the only surviving relatives of the ground sloth are tiny by comparison, finding a surrogate mother is impossible. But it may someday be possible to develop a fetus in an artificial womb. Number two, the blue whale or Balena terpa musculus is the largest species of whale and also the largest animal on Earth. These majestic creatures can reach 98 feet in length and weigh up to 199 tons. While they once roamed throughout nearly every ocean, they faced extinction near the end of the 20th century. Rising demand for whale meat and oil, as well as advancements in boating and fishing technology, led to widespread hunting that decimated their numbers. Blue whales began receiving protection in 1939, but it wasn't until 1966 that they received complete protection under the International Convention for the Regulation of Whaling. These efforts, their population is slowly increasing, with a global estimate in 2018 between 5,000 and 15,000. However, they continue to face both natural and man-made threats. These dangers include ship strikes, entanglement in nests, no ocean noise, pollution, and predation by killer whales. Although their population is increasing due to these ongoing threats, the IUCN lists blue whales as an endangered species. Number 1. American Bison Also known as the American Buffalo, the American Bison is one of the most well-known animals that came back from extinction in North America. For thousands of years, bison roamed throughout the Great Bison Belt, a tract of land stretching from Alaska to the Gulf of Mexico. They became a symbol of the Old West and served as an essential source of food and resources to many Native American tribes. However, during the 19th century, bison almost went extinct due to commercial hunting and widespread slaughter. Their population plummeted from over 60 million in the late 18th century to only 541 animals by 1889. Since then, multiple reintroduction campaigns have attempted to restore their population, many of them spearheaded by native tribes. Of these efforts, the Intertribal Bison Council represents one of the most significant. Today, over 300,000 bison live throughout North America, primarily on private land. Let us know your opinion in the comments section below. This was all for today. Hope you liked the video. Do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Stay safe and we will be back soon with another video.